This person says, I swear Jeez. these Observer Awards are so biased. Personally, I will wait for some less uh, biased awards. The Slammies. Well, <laughs> funny you should mention it, buddy. Have I got the awards for you? I think we're going to get these out of the way first here before we get to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Awards. Because the Observer Awards have come out every year since like 1983. And this is the first year ever that we are doing these, the Wrestling Observer Live Awards. So I want to get these out of the way first. I also want to give everybody an opportunity if they want to comment on these awards a little bit later on in the program. So are you ready, Mike, for the, the first annual 2021 Wrestling Observer Live Awards? I, I guess so. Who voted on these awards? Don't worry Where about it. Where were these awards held? Don't worry about it. Who's the panel? Uh, some people are on the thread or the Twitch are already uh, dreading this, so just turn it off then. All right, here we go. You ready? <laughs> yeah. The award for most bitter followers goes to Dave Meltzer. <laughs> yes, Dave <laughs> Meltzer, a, most bitter fair. followers. Uh, the award for dumbest followers, which is different, okay, goes to Brian Alvarez on Wednesday. Hey, uh, I gotta get another trophy go. here to go Wednesday with my best book award that I got. Thursday, Thursday, you get that award. All right, the award for the worst followers to argue with, eggs. Congratulations <laughs> to all of you eggs out there. Worst takes. Goes to Reddit. Congratulations to Reddit. Now, I know that we have people listening on Reddit, and they're probably going to be upset about that. So I'm going to make you feel better. There's a difference between worst takes and dumbest posters, okay? <laughs> dumbest posters. The award goes to all those folks who pay $12 a month to troll the figure four board. Those are also my favorite posters. Honorable mention are people that spend four ninety nine here on Twitch to make fun of Brian's hair. Don't get ahead of this, Mike. Sorry. Worst tag team, the Rock and Roll Express. What? Worst family, the Stunt Family. That's Worst true. finish, Distraction Finish. <laughs> Music. Best title, Winged Eagle. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. That's even better than the Texarkana title. Uh. I'm sorry. Now, I did feel that I didn't want people to get upset, so I wanted to spread the awards out. So the winner of Longest Weekly TV Show is Raw at three hours. Congratulations to Raw. Longest Weekly Television Show. Mm -hmm. Best Show, AEW Dynamite. Oh, look at you. Best Booker, Tony Khan. Look at you. However, cheapest Ugh. promotion, AEW. I haven't gotten one check yet. Mm. Worst Ric Flair goes to the guy on Young Rock. <laughs> I would like to congratulate the winner of Worst Look, Brian Alvarez. Hey, well, well, I worked hey. hard for that one. <laughs> Boy, did I ever. Well. And this time next year, I'm going to win Best Look. Oh, yeah? Or Most Improved Look. Mm. I've sunk to as almost as low as I can get. Do you get a retroactive award for you coming off that cruise well or? mike what i would like to do i, I would you be quiet because this you're going to appreciate this one all right the winner of best mike sempervivi is mike sempervivi all right but i'm not Thank sure you. which one it is it's, it's this one the original the only one no gimmicks needed worst caller tie tie Best producer. What's today? Friday? Scott! Congratulations, producer Scott. Fine work. And finally, the most important award. Mm. Most loyal. It is, in fact, our Twitch homies. And yes. those listening on Sports Byline yes. USA. The My Year 1090. And video.f4wonline.com. You guys barely here. won... Over the WWE fans. But I'm going to give it to you. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, I voted in all the awards. It was only me. No kidding. There this was no like fan the, voting. No Brian fans Alvarez. were allowed to vote in this one. Only Bri me. Brian Alvarez's airing of the grievances awards. That's what this was. Yes. That's that's my awards this year. <laughs> you know what? You know what? For the hell of it, I'm going to add one more. Best that. heel, MJF. Why, why do we take best heel out of the Observer Awards? Why did that get taken out? I don't know. Because we decided that there were no baby faces and heels anymore? That's ridiculous. 
So I'm going to give him best best heel. The Don Rickles Award, yeah. MJF. All right, so there you go, everybody. Now, if you actually want to know, do you guys want to know the real awards? No. Or the Observer Newsletter Awards? No, because it's just going to be annoying. Just like everybody on Twitter about this. Well, I mean, not everybody on Twitter is annoying about it. Only the really Trusting dumb Observer people. Radio. That's not what I want. Try oh, to get the Observer on. Awards, and I just heard Garrett. Oh, yeah. Oh, there spot. we go. There we go. I remember. Well, Mike, I don't know if I go that far. All right, so uh, Wrestler of the Year is John Moxley. I'd agree with that. Yeah. That's who I'd vote for. John Jeremy. Moxley is the... Oh, look, we already got we already got bitter tears here. <laughs> producer <laughs> Rob is upset that he was not voted best producer. Oh, no. Uh, well, Rob, do you want to know why you didn't win best producer? <laughs> Let's hear Because I skipped over it. You won worst producer. Ah! Okay, so John Moxley Sorry, is the Rob. wrestler of the year. Congratulations to him. And... Uh, uh, mixed martial arts most valuable Khabib, which is funny. Like, I don't know. I, these awards, I love the Observer Awards, but there's always a few that I don't get. Like, best box office. <laughs> like, it went to Conor McGregor. Like, how is this even an arguable category? Like, if he did two million buys and everyone else did like 500,000 buys, how could you possibly vote for somebody else? But then, how could how could he... Be the best box office draw, but someone else could be most valuable. I don't get it. But anyway, he did He did win. So congratulations to, to Kabi. Most outstanding wrestler, Kenny Omega. Congratulations to Kenny Omega. He was quite outstanding, but I mean, if you look at the whole top ten, Kota Ibushi, Shingo, Ishii, Will Ospreay, Minoru Suzuki, Okada, Tanahashi, Go Shiozaki, and Ray Phoenix. I mean, you could make a case for any of them. We have got most outstanding fighter, Israel Adesanya. Congratulations to him. Tag Team of the Year goes to the Young Bucks. They are the winners. And they ran away with it. I mean, I, I figured that FTR would be either very high in the, in the running, but I mean, they only got 97 votes. Young Bucks, 653 votes. Inactivity. I think that's probably what it was. It's not FTR's fault, but uh, you know the Young Bucks. They had a dominant, dominant year, and Omega and Page. I'm surprised finished so high. Uh, it, you know, at first glance, and then you start thinking about it, and you see how you know heavily North American. It's kind of tilted. It, you know, who else was it going to be? You know, than than the Young Bucks. You can make a case in a lot of years. You could say the Usos. There's a lot of people you could say maybe deserved it over the Young Bucks, but we're at a time now where. I mean, they are head and shoulders, the most recognizable tag team. I don't want to say in the world, but I'd argue in the world at this point. Dude, they've won seven of the last eight years. Like, at this point, it almost should be renamed for them. Just to have the whole internet blow up that I made such a, a horrible statement. But, I mean, Sacrilege. you realize that other awards have been named for people who won them multiple times. Like Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson. But anyway, by the way, someone in the, the, the chat's very upset about these awards. Mark Awards says terrorizing hmm. what yeah best on interviews eddie kingston i can argue sure. that one sure mox too yeah. promotion of the year aew no surprise best weekly tv show dynamite no surprise pro wrestling match of the year bucks versus omega and page if you're a big fan of these video clips here on youtube you're missing out on full length shows down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.